Why is getting a job that pays more than 20 an hour so difficult? I hire people with zero experience at 18 in a job that doesn't require any real skills, but location makes a difference. Edit to add. I live in rural area and we have people charging 40 hour to weed your property for fire clearances and are booked months out. All it takes is hard work. Damn all the comments on this so far have had the word qualifications in it I have no opinion I just wanted to say that edit. Damn it more people commented, so now I feel like a fool. Just for some context to the people talking about qualifications, the median individual income is 38k. 19 HR. Fully half of working Americans make less than that. I do not dispute that a store clerk should earn less than a skilled worker like a plumber, and a plumber should earn less than a doctor, but why should a store clerk not earn enough for a decent lifestyle? If all the janitors, and clerks, and waiters go out and get degrees or apprenticeships, who the fuck is going to stock grocery shelves who is going to pick up your garbage every week? Who is going to clean your toilet at the office? How are you going to buy food in a world where everyone is electricians? The reason life has gotten harder is that a smaller portion of people have most of the money. And if you aren't in the top 5 of incomes, you are probably one of the people getting the short end of that stick. If you have a college degree or a skilled trade certification, 20 is trivial. There are even some less skilled jobs that pay over 20, like at Costco, where every job is over 20 per hour. A lot of it can be knowing the right people making the right connections. I did some work over the summer for the schools when I was still in high school and made friends with some of the other people who worked there. Then, a few years out of high school, the head of transportation reached out to me since they were a little low on bus drivers, helped me get my CDL for free, and now I drive a bus at 31.01 an hour. I got a job as an interpreter for 26 HR after being unable to get anything above minimum wage for a while. Keep your head up and keep applying. Have skills or live in an expensive area that already pays that well in order to keep up with the cost of living. Firstly I will ask you where are your qualifications? What have you accomplished? What do you know? What are you actually capable of doing? How do you bring value? What makes you a particularly strong candidate? These are not meant to be offensive questions. These are questions you should ask yourself if you want to get a higher paying job. Where you live matters, where Emmett Starbucks and grocery stores start at 21-22 an hour. Try Home Depot, Lowe's, Costco, Ray, etc. A lot of them start at 20. I work a desk job. Started at 15 9 years ago. After a promotion and a department switch and so on, I'm up to 24 or so. I started an apprenticeship at 18 HR, 5 years ago. Now I make 45 HR. Get educated trained for an in-demand profession. Best advice I can give. Read Grieber's Bolst Jobs for an alternate view regarding the skilled labor mythology that is being touted in these comments. I have a degree. I took multiple internships where I was paid in experience, got an entry-level position, grinded for two years, got laid off, started over with new company, grinded for a year, got promoted, grinded another year, got laid off. In this time I live at home and paid off my debt. Once the debt was gone life got a lot easier. Sold everything, moved to Spain to become a writer, lived there illegally for a year, decided to move to SF to pursue a career in tech, took an internship at 26, found out grinding is way easier when you like your job, got promoted several times. Fast forward to now, not yet 40, but getting close and am a stone's throw away from being able to fully retire if I want. Moral of the story, get out of debt as fast as you can, then pursue your passions wherever they lead. I don't know if it will work for you, but it worked for me. Having marketable skills is key. The $20 mark seems to be the range where you stop hiring labor and start hiring specific skill sets. A better question would be what skills do I have, or can I gain that are worth more than $20 an hour? Started out as a carpentry laborer at 12 an hour, busted my ass and got noticed by the electrical service manager and pulled onto his team, and put in the apprenticeship program. 4.5 years later, I got my journeyman card, and I'm at 31 an hour with a move into the office looking likely with a nice pay raise and no more wear and tear on the body. I made way more than that working at LA Fitness and Sales. You might have to start at the bottom and work your way up, you might not start at 20 an hour. Figure out what you want to do and where you want to go. 20 at Costco might seem good, but is it what you want to do for a career? Is it giving you skills where you can go to another job for more? It could depending on the position, like if you become a manager, but maybe you don't want to be a manager. Roofing pays well, but do you want to be a laborer forever? Sometimes it's better to start lower or go to school. Like an entry-level accounting job with no experience might not pay well, but after a degree and experience it will.